we have here the reaction of 2Na reacting with 1Cl2 to produce 2NaCl. So this coefficient here, this tells us the amount of each substance in comparison to another. So the ratio here is 2 to 1 to 2. Again, these are the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. It says here that for every 2 Na's, I need 1 Cl2 and that can produce 2 NaCl. So this ratio is constant for any amount of these substances on these reactions. So what if I have 4 Na's? How many Cl2 do I need? So again, from the original ratio, it's obvious that the amount of Cl2 is half of the Na's. So if I have 4 Na's, then I need 2 Cl2, and that can produce 4 NaCl. So again, this is based on the original ratio, right? So again, this states that uh, the Na's and NaCl have the same number. But if I have 2 million, okay, 2 million Na's, how many Cl2 do I need? Again, from the original ratio, it's obvious that uh, the Cl2 is always half of Na. So if I have 2 million of Na's, then I need 1 million of Cl2. And that can produce 2 million NaCl molecules. So again, these numbers are based on the original ratio. Now, what if I have 2 moles? 2 moles of Na. How many moles of Cl2 do I need? So again, that's one mole, it's half of the Na number, and then it can produce two moles of NaCl. But if I have four moles, okay, four moles of Na, how many moles of Cl2 do I need? Again, the amount of Cl is always half of Na, so the half of, of four moles is two moles of Cl. Cl2, then it can produce 4 moles of NaCl. Again, these numbers are the same based on the original ratio in the balanced chemical equation. And actually, if you simplify this one, of course, we can simplify this ratio. We can divide all by 2, and this will produce 2, 2 over 2 is 1, and then 4 over 2 is 2. So again, it's the same with the original ratio. Now for the reaction 2H2 plus O2 producing 2H2O, how many moles of H2O can be produced from 4 moles of H2? So let's go first and check again our balanced chemical equation. The ratio here is 2 to 1 to 2. So it says here that for every 2H2, I need 1 O2 and that can produce 2H2O. So again, this is the ratio between the different substances in this reaction. Now, the condition in the first problem is, what if we have 4 moles of H2? So 4 moles of H2, how many moles of H2O can be produced? So based on the ratio here, it states that uh, H2 and H2O have the same number. So from this one, we can guess that if we have 4 moles of H2, then we can have 4 moles of H2O. So this will be our guess for this item. But just to be organized, let's try to solve this one step by step. So the given here is 4 moles of H2. 4 moles of H2. Now, we're going to multiply this one with the molar ratio. So the molar ratio from moles of H2, okay, from moles of H2 to the moles of H2O. And again, for the ratio, just look on the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. Here for the number of H2, that's 2, okay, 2 moles of H2 can produce 2 moles of H2O. Again, these numbers are based on the balanced chemical equation. Now we do the math here. That's 4 times 2 is equal to 8 over 2. That's equal to 4. 
then of course we'll cancel H2 what's left is moles of H2O so 4 moles of H2 can produce 4 moles of H2O so our guess is correct so again it's correct because we just base this one in the ratio in the original um, balance chemical equation let's have another okay this one by the way is a multi-mole -multi calculation because the given is the number of moles of one substance and we're going to calculate the number of moles of another substance in the reaction so from moles to moles another problem how many moles of O2 is needed to produce 10 moles of H2O so the given here is 10 moles of H2O okay 10 moles of H2O well, let's go back first to our equation over here let's try to guess the answer first before answering so here uh, the condition if is what if we have 10 moles of H2O 10 moles of H2O how many moles of O2 is needed for this one so the ratio between O2 is that's 1 is to 2 right again that's 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 so meaning the number of O2 is half right it's half the number of H2O so if we have 10 moles of H2O half of that one that is 5 moles of O2 so our, our guess for this item is 5 moles of O2 again it's based on the uh, ratio in the balance equation let's go back to the step-by-step -step process we have 10 moles of H2O again multiply with the molar ratio so that's from moles of H2O determine the moles of O2 needed for the reaction and again for the numbers here just look in the numbers in the balance chemical equation and for H2O the number here is 2 put it here and for O2 the number is 1 so put it here and then you do the math 10 times 1 10 over 2 that's equal to 5 cancel mole of H2O what's left is mole of O2 and again our guess is correct so we have 5 moles of O2. Again, this one is multi-mole calculation. We just multiplied our given by the molar ratio. And again, the number in the molar ratio depends on the number in the coefficients in the balance chemical equation. Let's have another set of problems here. How many moles of H2O can be produced from 808 grams of H2? So 8.08 grams of H2. So here, it's different from the previous one because here, instead of mole, we are given the grams of H2. So obviously here first, we need to convert the mass into mole of H2. And then from mole of H2, we can go to and then predict the and find the answer for the moles of H2O produced from this reaction this one by the way is a mass to mole calculation the given is the number of grams or the mass of one substance and we're going to determine the number of moles of another substance okay so again the given here is 8.08 .08 grams of H2 we're going to convert this one first to the what's this the number of moles that's from gram of H to 2 the moles of H2 one mole of H2 is how many grams so for this one we need to calculate the molar mass of H2 and for that one the mass of hydrogen is 1.01 .01 times 2 because we have two hydrogens in H2 1.01 times 2 is equal to 2.02 so the mass of one mole of H2O is 2.02 grams so let's convert this one so 8.08 .08 times 1 8.08 .08. 
over 2.02 .02. then if you divide this one that is okay, 8.08 8.08 divided by 2.02 .02, the answer is 4 so that's 4 moles of H2 so 8.08 .08 grams of H2 is equal to 4 moles okay 4 moles of H2 if we have 4 moles of H2, how many moles of H2O can we make from this one? Again, the ratio is 2 is to 2, so the same numbers. If we have 4 moles of H2, then we can have also 4 moles of H2O. So right now, we can guess the answer for this one is 4 moles of H2O. Again, let's do the math. Again, the this one is equal to 4 moles of H2. So from 4 moles of H2, we'll multiply this one with the molar ratio. That's from mole of H2 and then mole of H2O. Again, this is the molar ratio. So just look on the number in the balanced chemical equation. So for every 2 mole of H2, it can produce 2 mole of H2O. Then if you do the math here, 4 times 2 is equal to 8 over 2. That's equal to 4 moles of H2O. So the answer here is 4 moles of H2O. So again, it's quite a longer solution because again, first we converted the mass to the number of moles of H2 and then from moles of H2, we multiply with the molar ratio. So it's actually quite a longer solution. But again, we have a shortcut for this one. So 8.08 .08 grams of H2. Again, first, convert this one to the number of moles of H2. 1 mole of H2 is equal to 2.02. .02 then we will multiply with the molar ratio so again we just uh, made a shortcut so that's from mole of h2 to the mole of h2o so here i just use uh, two conversion factors which i also presented in the last lecture video about conversion of units so here one mole of h2 this can produce no, sorry, that's 2 mole of H2 can produce 2 mole of H2O. So again, this one is the molar ratio. And then if you do the math here, 8.08 .08 times 2, that's equal to, okay, that's 18.02, sorry, 8.08 .08 times 2. That's equal to 16.16, 16.16 over 2.02 times 2, that's equal to 4.04. So 16.16 divided by 4.04, and the answer is 4. So 4 moles of grams of H2 cancel, mole of H2 cancel. What's left is 4 moles of H2O. So again, this one is much shorter compared to the previous solution. So here the answer is 4 moles of H2O. Let's have another one. So the given here is 54.06 grams of H2O. How many moles of O2 is needed for this reaction? So here that's 54.06 grams of H2O. Again, first convert this one to the number of moles from grams of H2O to the number of moles of H2O, one mole of H2O. It can produce, or the molar mass, by the way, the molar mass of H2O, hydrogen, oxygen, 1.01 .01 times 2 because we have two hydrogens in H2O. That's equal to 2.02, .02, and then the mass of oxygen is 16.00 times 1, because we only have one oxygen here. 
that's equal to 16.00, 2.02 plus 16.00, the answer is 18.02. So, one mole of H2O is equal to 18.02. Now, from mole of H2O to the moles of O2, again, this is the molar ratio. Just look in the numbers in the balanced chemical equation. For oxygen, the number is 1. And then for H2O, the number is 2. Then we're good to calculate this one, 54.06 times 1 times 1. The answer is 54.06 over 18.02 times 2. 18.02 times 2 is equal to 36.4. 36.4. Thirty-six point four zero four. Next, divide fifty-four point zero six divided by thirty-six point zero four zero four. The answer is one point five. One point five. Here we have the given has four significant figures. We also need to have four significant figures in our answer. So let's have. Let's put two zeros here. One, two, three, four. The next, cancel gram of H2O, cancel mole of H2O. What's left is the number of moles of O2. So the answer for this item is 1.500 mole of H2. Okay, by the way, for this one, by the way, we have three, uh, three significant figures in the given. Our answer should also be 4.00 because we have three significant figures here and the same thing with the answer for this one. Next, we have another set of questions. How many grams of H2O can be produced from 7.25 moles of H2? So here the given is the number of mole of one substance we're going to determine the grams of another substance. So this one is a mole to mass calculation. The given here is 7.25 moles of H2. Since we're going to find out the grams of another substance, we'll convert this one first to grams. So from mole of H2, 